Hey guys and welcome to a very special video where I'm going to be showcasing what you've been up to in lockdown. So this won't be like a normal tank review where I answer lots of questions but I will be given a few tips along the way. I'm also going to try to fit in as many setups as possible so some of these may be short and sweet but basically I wanted to showcase your tank transformations and what you've been getting up to during lockdown. So let's start off with our first setup. Kayla has given her Crested Gecko tank an upgrade and a makeover, so she went from a 30 by 30 by 50 centimetre tank with paper towel to a 45 by 45 by 60 centre bioactive tank. She even built the background and everything. So this looks awesome. I love the mossy background. It gives the tank so much depth. I think you've done a fantastic transformation and I'm sure your Crested Gecko is going to love it. Next is Dana. Now they've transformed their leopard gecko tank from this to this. As you can see, there are lots of different hides. I have to say that egg hide, I've seen online lots of times, but when I actually saw them in the shop, they're surprisingly spacious. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's a nice amount of space, nice places to hide. Very good. Ella here has gone bioactive with her leopard gecko tank. It's crazy how different these two tanks are like make sure of course you have growth lights for your succulents but um it's completely transformed she is waiting for the plants to get established before she moves her gecko nala in this next setup is from luke now he bought rex the gecko at the start of lockdown because nobody wanted him so he took on rex and his setup he said he started to search for more information and once he found my channel he changed the entire setup and rex now has a deep heat projector a shade dweller earth mix arid and he's in a 20 gallon tank this is fantastic to hear this is why i do what i do i absolutely love this transformation i love those little steps by the way i don't know what they're made of but they look so cool and i'm so glad you could give rex a home next up is joel so joel was actually featured in a previous tank review video and since then he has really transformed his crested gecko tank this looks absolutely brilliant so joel also sent in a video tour so we could have a better look i always quite like those hides on the side are they stuck on or are they magnetic? Because I had a ledge from Exoterra, and I believe this is from Exoterra, and it did stick on the side, but I have heard horror stories of them dropping off, but I always think it would be quite a cool hide because the gecko can hide, but you can kind of spy on it. But anyway, this is absolutely brilliant. You have done a great job. Now we have a setup from Doman. So they got their gecko about two months ago and went straight into building a bioactive tank, which is really cool because it took me quite a few years to even attempt it. Now this was a before photo, but since then they have upgraded it to 100 by 40 by 50 centimeters. And this looks so cool. I particularly love this little hide where the gecko can sort of burrow and go underneath, but you can also kind of spy on it. Very cool. Next we have a setup from a patron of this channel, Kayla. Now she recently turned her gecko tanks bioactive. Don't you think bioactive tanks just look more like I was gonna say alive, like obviously <laughs> they're live plants, but you know what I mean? They're just so much more vibrant and enticing. Um I'm sure these plants in here are gonna grow in no time. Uh this is so nice and bright the only thing i would say is if you want to utilize the top of this tank a bit more you can always add in a longer piece of like a cork branch and even a coconut hide but it looks great we actually have a setup from another patron tristan and he actually filmed a video for us of his gecko nest going into her new tank he's got a deep heat projector a shade dweller and a jungle dawn led bar he made his own background and has two succulents and a pothos in the tank it looks brilliant um it's so cool to see all the different variations that people go for for leopard gecko bioactive tanks i know i'm inspired um, i think you've done a great job here also nessa's colors are amazing 
Then we have a setup from Jillian. So she went from a 20 gallon tank with carpet to a 40 gallon tank that's bioactive and she went from a heat mat to a deep heat projector and she's going to be adding in a 3D background soon. But I think this looks great. Um, I always particularly like these succulents. Like I may add one into Diego's tank when I can finally go to a garden center. Does anyone else like garden centers? I have too many house plants. But anyway, this looks great. I particularly like the slate with the cork hide underneath. Very nice. The next setup is from Noel. The photos came through very small, so I'm not sure how well they'll show on this, but she did send a video over and you can see there's lots of hides, lots of places to explore, and this is her gecko, Taylor. Now, she also made a hammock from my tutorial that I did. Very nice, I appreciate that. And she's recently added in this piece of driftwood. I really like this, it looks like a little bridge. Very nice. Jaden actually sent in a very interesting setup. It's basically a future plan for a tank, but I love that you've done this. It can be great to plan out exactly what you want so you're ready to go shopping when you get all your stuff after lockdown. Also, this is really cool how you've designed this. You have to let me know what you did it on. Next, we have this wonderful setup from Rob. So his gecko, Zeke, is 15 years old. He rescued Zeke about two years ago. He originally came to Rob underweight and in a 10 gallon tank, but now he's in a four by two by two foot bioactive tank. This looks brilliant. I love the little name sign as well there with his little picture. But um, yeah, lots of cork, a nice variety of plants. I'm getting more and more inspired. I may add in some more succulents and maybe air plants, <laughs> more like setups I see, but very nice. I'm glad Zeke is now living in luxury. Now, I had to include this next one purely for the effort put into the photo. Everything is labeled. How wonderful. So this is from Nadia in Portugal. This is her gecko Malibu, who she got three weeks ago, and she'd been preparing the tank since February. So a big tip I can give you guys is do what Nadia's done. If you're able to, make sure the tank is set up, you've tested the heating, the lighting, etc., or before you get the gecko. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, weeks and weeks in advance, but better than, you know, trying to get everything ready while she's just got this gecko here so always be prepared um but this is a great looking setup the hide is so cool it blends into the floor it just looks like a little hidey hole on the floor um she did ask about keeping the humidity down a bit um the key is ventilation if there is plenty of ventilation at the top of the tank um that should help if there's anything currently covering it you may want to remove it uh, but that usually helps lower the humidity Whilst in lockdown, Chrissy made a DIY hide for her leopard gecko, which is super cool. She also uses a deep heat projector and shade dweller, which is great, but I am wondering, what is the hide made out of? It looks really cool, but I'm wondering if it's made out of styrofoam and like grout and paint and glue, like when I used to make hide sometimes back in the day, because I would be a little wary of heating it. If it is made of stuff like that, I would probably recommend putting it on the cold side. Um, if it's made out of stuff like slate and stuff, that'll be fine, but I'm just wary of glues and stuff like that heating up and how that like you don't want any toxic fumes uh, going off in the tank but nevertheless we love a good DIY and speaking of DIY Zachary has made his gecko Dusty a wild west themed cage this is so cool I just had to feature it next Mariessa has been busy her tank went from looking like this to this that is such a great transformation very nice and finally, Doug has been doing an amazing job at building his leopard gecko a bioactive tank. Now he sent me lots of photos of the process of making the tank and it came out amazing. So I thought I would include them all here, well not all of them, but lots of them here so you could sort of see his process. Now he did say in the email that the temperature has been getting up to 37 degrees Celsius under the deep heat projector. You may want to call that down a bit. Ideally you want around 30 to 32. Um, he did mention that he was thinking of using mealworms as a cleanup crew as some people do use them. To be honest with you, mealworms could easily destroy the roots of your plants, so I would sort of stay away from them because I'd hate to see all this work go to waste. You don't want them destroying everything. Um, from what I've heard back from like my own audience and what I've seen on bioactive groups on Facebook, isopods and springtails are probably your best bet. They're um, less destructive. So wow, we, uh, we got through a lot of setups and trust me, I wanted to fit in as many as possible. Um, 
I obviously couldn't, so as you can see here, I'm going through and showcasing some, and we're going to roll out with that. Um, we, I had so many entries, and I really appreciate it, but if you don't see yours featured here, I'm, I'm so sorry, please don't take it personal. Um, there were just so many. There were some that looked great, but the photos came through so tiny that they you wouldn't be able to see them in this video. Um, and as I said, there were just so many. But keep doing what you guys are doing. Uh, if lockdown keeps continuing going on, we can just, you know, bless our pets and <laughs> upgrade their houses. Um, but yeah, these setups have uh, not only inspired me, but hopefully you guys at home. Um, and yeah, thank you for anyone who sent in their pictures. Thank you to you guys for watching. Of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you and goodbye.